Hey everybody, this is Kaboom, and welcome to this episode of Craftopia. In today's episode, I've got two things that I want to accomplish. One is... Wait a minute. Why is there a hole? Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this tower right here. Uh, what this tower is meant to do is allow your glider to be deployed earlier when you fly out of the bus, and that will allow you to travel off in different directions using the blue hang glider that uses zero stamina. So you can use this little trick in your world to get a little boost when you leave the bus. Let me show you guys what that looks like. I've got a little temporary platform up there. I need to get out of the sky. So let's go ahead and call the bus. All right, so when you normally get off the bus, you fall down to the earth. And then when you get so close to the earth, your glider will deploy. But on my live stream, with the help of my viewers, I found out, actually from Red Danny, that it is actually based on how close you get to an object below you. And I think we came up with like 26 meters. So when you do that, your hang glider will get deployed, and then you can just glide over around to anything near you with no worries or concern about stamina. So this is, I feel like, a really cool way to enter into your world. So you have two options. You can do this option where you send a platform up into the sky with balloons, or you can do this option where we build basically a platform that will go up to the sky. And then we can use this platform to engage our hang glider a lot earlier. So before we get started building this tower, let me fix this roof real quick. Okay, so that's repaired, fixed. I had scaffolding fall out of the sky uh, when I was tearing it down on my live stream. Uh, it destroyed the roof and a couple pieces on the building. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing built up into the sky. Alrighty, the deploy tower is fully operational. Oh man, this thing is super high. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let me show you guys how this works. This, I put the lights up here just so you can see this from a distance away. But basically this is going to force your glider uh, to come out. It's gonna be the blue glider. And the blue glider, unlike the red glider, does not use stamina. And if you look down below, I actually put a lighthouse light pointing up. And I just, I love the visual effect of this. It looks like you're flying down into a tunnel of light. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, but then when you get about here, it disappears. All right, so for our second project of this video, we are gonna be heading out to the Western Down all the way at bus station number 14. It is way, 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 way way wait 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 super far super far all the way over here and this is where we're going to be headed we have a really cool western town being built over there all of the different members craftopia have been building stuff so let's go ahead and get over there we are going to be building a mine company over there i am super excited about this so let's jump on the bus and get on over there all righty head what who a bide guy? What's a bide guy doing here? What is he doing? Who let him into this world? Let's get down here and take a look. Looks like he's over in the saloon. Probably drinking one of the chillberry shakes old Haskins got from me. A bide guy! How's it going? Oh, what are you drinking? The name's not a bide. The name's One-Eyed Abide. One-Eyed Abide guy? I've never heard of you. You can't tell because I'm wearing glasses. Well, I also have one eye partner. Is that why your eyesight's so bad you didn't realize this town doesn't belong to you anymore? What you mean this town doesn't belong to me? This town belongs to Craftopia. Who do you think this town belongs to? It belongs to the Bone Peely Bandits. We're taking over the... The Bone Peely Bandits? The most ruthless directional building scoundrels in the desert? 
Yeah, we're here for your rubies. You'll never get your hands on my rubies. I got just one question for you, one-eyed abide. Is this town big enough for the both of us? No, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. So get your Lego backside out of here. I ain't leaving this town without a fight. Well, if you're going out with a fight, so meet me in high noon, no charms. Bring a blaster. I accept your challenge. Alrighty, one-eyed abide guy, I'm here. And I want to see you out in the street with your charms off. Get out of here, you dirty dog, and face me like a man. You want some proof? Here's my proof. I don't need charms to beat you, because I have pure talent. And here are my charms, laying at my feet. You're not very charming. We draw in ten paces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. You dirty scoundrel, you cheating. What are you saying? No! No! No good rotten melon. Listen up here, one eyed abide guy. I want you to take a message back. The leader of the Bone Peely Bandits, Haskins himself. You let them know if they show their faces around this town. Not only I, but also the sheriff of this town, the Mad Puck. Well, make sure that they don't see the sun rise on the next day, if you get what I mean. I'm gonna tell the Peely gang that we'll be, we'll be back for Lego studs. You get your charms and you get out of this town and I better never see your face again. Boy, oh boy, was that a crazy interaction, man. I hope the um, bone Peely bandits don't show up and cause any trouble. But here is our little town. We've got a bank over there, general store over here. This is like the armory for the town where we store all the weapons. And then we got the saloon. Then we got a funeral home. And then we got the sheriff's office. You know what we don't have? Is we don't have the whole reason why people went halfway across the country. And that's a mining company. So that we can mine the rubies. We need to mine the rubies and store them up in the bank. And uh, to do that we're going to need to build a mining company. And my plan is to build it right here on this spot. I think I'm going to put the entrance to it right here off this rock. And then put the building part right here in this area. And then we're going to have a staircase or a walk path going down to that little mine right there. So that we can have people go in and search for wealth and riches. So, and I'm also going to try a new style of time lapse for this build. So be sure to let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. This town is turning out to be pretty awesome. A lot of fun. I have the Mining Co. Company over here. There we go. And this is uh, my build for the Mining Company. And you know what? The biggest concern I have right now is the bank getting robbed. You know, the Mining Company, they store all their rubies and all their really important, expensive wealth will uh, transfer over there to the bank so hopefully that does not get robbed in a future episode but i've got a pickaxe and some dynamite and then you come on in here place is full of chickens because of these rugs you can get all the supplies that you need to go mining in these caves from food to shakes to wood to actually blast powder which we need to go and fight some skeletons uh, in the middle of the night so we can get some more blast powder over here we got 
all the different varieties of pickaxes with a enchanting area and then we've got our goods back here for enchanting now we do keep a couple of these on hand for the enchanter but when we get a abundance of resources we're gonna go over and deposit those in the bank so with that being said we got to get out to the desert and we need to get some blast powder we can't we can <laughs> unfortunately we cannot store boom barrels here we're also going to need to add in a little bit of a staircase going down here to the cave and then we're going to set up a little entrance going into the cave so now we just need to wait for nighttime and then we're going to go over to the desert get some blast powder and stock our store Alrighty, so we got a little bit more uh, gunpowder for our, our for our store. 16. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we definitely can uh, get some more. I might go out to a shore biome and try that because those skelly boys, I think I see one right over there. Those skelly boys, I think, spawn a little bit faster. Maybe? I don't know. It would be really cool if they set it up so you could build like a cube and decrease the light level and then you could use that to make like a little skelly spawner and then you could figure out a way to kill those and then harvest gunpowder oh that would be so neat um but anyways with that being said i need to build a pathway down here to this cave and i want to set up this front entrance way so that it looks like uh you're going into a mine shaft to go along with the mind co store so let's go ahead and start working on this down here i feel like this really put the icing on the cake we got a little well over here with a couple buckets of water so you can get hydrated before you go into the mines we got some crates here filled with raw minerals and things that we've collected from the mines and little hidden chests with a little wall that looks like it's kind of dilapidated and kind of breaking down. The little caution signs to warn you before going in about how dangerous this cave could be. And then the most important thing, and probably my favorite, is this little bathroom that you can, you know, take care of your business before you head off into the mines. So, oh man, and I, this little shed, I love this. I, I wish the, you know what, actually. There you go. That looks a little bit better. That looks filled in. And this little area, oh man, this has been, this has been such a great build. I have really, really, really enjoyed all this. And if you didn't catch the little uh, Easter egg in the video, the newest key holder member of Craftopia is the Abide Guy, and we are super excited. His little skits and his videos are so much fun, and they just add another layer uh, to the creativity in this game. And we are super excited. As you could see earlier, uh, me and him filmed a little bit, and there is going to be a lot more of those to come. So be sure that you're subscribed to his channel and to this channel so that you guys cannot miss out on any of the uh, fun antics that go on in this game. So guys, this is Kaboom, and until we meet again, partner, have a great day. Bye!